Hello, today we're going to start a unit called grid drawing. What a grid is, is vertical and horizontal lines that are intersecting and they always are going to run parallel to each other. We also need to make sure that they are square and not rectangle because if they're rectangle, they will be changing the shape of the picture that you will be drawing. So what I have here is one that I have done on a very large scale, but you can also start out and do a very small picture to something very large. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do practice packets and keep working our way up and then learning how to draw our own. And from there, we will be doing a large scale picture with a grid and blending with colored pencils. But we need to start out easy first. So what I have here is some small grid paper I have. I put simple line drawings here. And a grid, you're gonna take this picture and transfer it to this one, making sure everything is in the correct spots. Some helpful hints that I have is number this the same on both and then go across like you would on the X and Y axis. Also, I find post-it notes or just even another piece of paper very handy because you could be covering up the areas and working in sections. And that way it's blocking out other lines and it's not confusing you as much. So on this one, I have already drawn this part for you, I have wrote the numbers out on both of these and given you a dot to get you started. I'm gonna use ink pen today just so you can see the lines in this demonstration, but I would like you to use pencil and always make sure that you have an eraser. So what I would start is either on the top, bottom, right or left, whichever one you are the most comfortable with. And I'm gonna just see, okay, this would be between 13 and 12 right here, and this is between 13 and 12. And then this line here is between the four and five and it still is between the four and five, so this dot is okay to go with. What I would do when doing things, we can mark out the squares here if you wanted to. So I would be going up three and then marking them out. And I marked it out five times, and you can see it's also in this number five. So what I'm gonna look for is I like putting these dots here so I know where I need to put the dots and then think of it as you're doing connected dots. So I'm gonna go right here, so that's between two and three. Now I'm gonna follow over and I need on this line right here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm on this line here and I'm going to make a dot. Then this is one, two, three, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, and make a dot again. And then you can count up one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm gonna make a dot right there. So I'm going to just draw the lines that I have. And remember, do this in pencil. So now I'm gonna work on the toe of this dog. So it is at, if I look here, five and six, and between the three and four, so I'm going to go between the 5 and 6 again and between the 3 and 4 and make my dot and connect. Then it is 1 over. And then I'm going to go to this dot right here. So between the 10 and 11 is where this is at. So between the 10 and 11, and I'm going to just hold my finger here so I know where to go and see where this is, and it's between the six and seven. So between the six and seven, and then I'm gonna go to this space right there and draw the line. And then I need to go one, two, over, one, two, and I'm gonna just make my dot, so I play connect the dots. And then this is a space that was already given to us. And then one, two, and I notice it's on the 12, 13, 12, 13, and I'm gonna go over two spaces. I could also see what line is this lined up on. It is the six, seven. So once again, I'm on the six, seven, and I'm gonna connect the line. Then still from here to here, I'm gonna go up one. It's still on the six, seven. So there's the six, seven, I'm gonna go up one. And then it goes over two. 
and then up one. So I'm just going to look to check, and it's between the 8 and 9. So I need it to be on the 14, 15, right there. And then over one. And that is on between the 9 and 10. Between the 9 and 10. 14, 15. 14, 15. And make a mark. I just like using my finger to help hold a spot while I'm looking with the other hand. So now I need to go down one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm also going to see it's between the nine and ten. And I have it between the nine and ten. This way I'm just making sure where my lines are. Then I want to go all the way over here. So what I'm going to do is find where this is located. It's between the 17 and 18. So between 17 and 18 is right here. But where does this go? It is between the 9 and 10 once again. So between 9 and 10. And I'm going to go all the way over to right here. Make my dot and connect the line. Then you could do a couple of different ways. Some people like going just the one. Some want to draw this line first. It's up to you what you find the easiest. I'm going to look for where this goes and this goes and make the two dots. So right here is between the 12 and 13 and the 17 and 18. So 12, 13, and there was the 17, 18. And now I'm going to go all the way down to this one. There's 17, 18 still, so I'm still on that same line. And it's between the 2 and the 3. So between 2 and 3 on the 17, 18, I'm going to make a dot. So now I'm going to just draw this line straight down. Then here I'm going to look, and it looks like I'm just going over one space. Still make sure I'm lined up on that 12, 13. Then I go one, two, three down, one, two, three, and then make this rectangle that they have. And then I already have drawn this line here, which is this. So now I need to do the back leg and paw. So I'm going to see where is this lining up at between the 14 and 15 and between the 2 and the 3. So there's the 2 and 3 and the 14 and 15. And I'm going to make my dot and connect it. Go up one dot. Then it goes to the right. And then one, two, but I'm just going to check sure. So it looks between, it's the five and six, between five and six, and where 15 and 16 is. So the dot is right there. I connect the vertical line. Now all I have left is from here to here, which is on the five, six. So this is where I was doing the lines at the beginning. So now I have here the dog. The next thing we do is make sure everything is complete. So looking over this, did I forget anything on this one? And yes, I did. I forgot the I. So I'm going to see it is in 8, 12. So 8 is right here. Now I need to find 12. And it's in the center. So now I'm just going to fill this in. And now I have the dog for the first page. One other thing that you can also do was I was talking about post-it notes and if I wanted to cover sections up, I could work in small little sections. So I'd lay my same post-it note down here in the same spot. So that's between the three and four. So I would lay it like this. And then this way I could only see this section I would be working in. And then as I get that completed, I would be moving the post-it note upwards. If you wanted, you could do the post-it note this way. So it's just your preference which way you would like to lay the post-it note if it would help you block things out. And that is something that I still do myself a lot, especially when it's more detailed things with lots of lines. So the grid lines don't confuse me with where the lines are that I need to draw something. So on your second page, it's a house. So I would be looking at where these points are and I can make them down here 
And one thing to notice is this line right here, what is that establishing? It's establishing the land and it's not all the way at this line, it's between the one and two. So what I would want to do is just start with drawing this one long line right here. And then I could see where this dot is. So between three and the two on that line that's showing where the land is. So I'm gonna make that dot there. I'm also then going to go all the way over here and look, it's between the 14 and 15. So between 14 and 15, I'm going to make the dot right there. Then what I'm gonna do is see where this dot is. So this is where the angles are changing of the line direction. So it's on the two, three, but where's this at? This is at the nine and the 10. So between nine and 10, between the two and three would be right here. So now I know to connect these two dots, which is making the side of the building. Then I would find where is this line at? So it's between nine and 10. And if you want to do little lines, what, what I've done here, that's okay too. I'm just drawing on them here lightly, so it will help me see where I need to go. And so between 12 and 13 is where this dot is. So 12, 13, and I need to go over to here. And now I can connect these two. The other one I wanted to find is this part. So it looks like it was on the same line here. So go back to the 910, and I'm gonna go over and just hold my pin, or you guys are using your pencil, and find where this is at. It's between the 14 and 15. So there's the 14 and 15, and I'm just gonna use my finger to help hold the point, and then connect them. And then this is already made for us because we did the dot here and we did the dot here. Just remake sure it's on the 1415 line, 1415, and it is. And now I have the house started. So continue with this, making sure you're getting the windows in the right spot. Don't forget this line here and the little chimney that it has. And once again, you guys could use the post-it notes to help you block out areas. And remember, if you don't have a post-it note, you could just hold a piece of paper there and move it as you go through to block sections out. Then the next page you have, on page three, we have this little snake here. So it's the same thing. One dot has been given to you and find the placement of the rest of the things. On the next page are these little drawings on just a few squares. And you can see it started here as the complete one, but then this is showing you how to get somewhere. Don't draw it on this page to finish things off. What you're going to do is go to the next page and draw in the squares that are given for each one. So what I would do is just put them next to each other and look at them that way. What I would also do is count how many squares something is in. So looking that there's a mustache right here, I'm gonna label that as a number one, two, three, four, because it stops right there. So on my piece of paper, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm also going to go across, and there is a little hat on this guy right here. It's just hard to see. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna number it right here. Notice my ones are in different spaces. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go up here and make my dot and then go over to the edge of the five. I'm gonna see that this guy's three tall, but he does have his mustache. So his mustache would be right here. So between the one and two, and it's three tall, one, two, three. It's over three, one, two, three, and then back down three, one, two, three. Right here are two lines. So it's showing it's here and here. And then don't forget the little dots for his eyes. Don't forget he has ears because he needs to hear. And notice what shape are they. You could call them half circles. You could call them C shapes. 
but also notice they don't go all the way down to the edge of his face. They're at the halfway, and they don't go all the way out to his hat. It's right here. So I'm just giving little dots to know where I need to connect to. And the same would be here, where they're going to be that same C shape. And then don't forget he has a mustache, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Also notice right here, some of it is touching a grid line, but it's not all the way down here. So I'm going to go and make those lines so I know where it goes. And then uh, we have our little man right here. And I'm just going to retouch this up so his hat shows up. So then we have this one. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in number two, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it is one, two, three, four tall. I'm not going right here. I'm going to go over one. So this would be our zero is the way to think of it. And then two, three, and I went four tall. If you go five, that's fine. Just remember you're not going to draw that tall. And then you would continue drawing this. One thing to pay attention to is say six would be where the smokestack would be in those other parts. Notice the half circle would be, looks like two squares. There's a little triangle there, but there is this that will also help you see where placement of things are. This guy, it's showing you how to get started. And then don't forget to put the little circles in this one. But what I would do for every one is count out my squares so I know I have the correct placement for everything. Because that is the point of grid drawing is to make sure everything is in the correct spots. Thank you for watching.